Hello and welcome to a short tutorial in how we can go about making a Quest augmented reality app. So the first thing we're going to do is go onto our installs and make sure we've got the right settings. So I'm just using this version of Unity 2022, uh, long term support, click on the cog, add modules, I've already done this, I'm just making sure I've got the Android build installed. Okay, I'm now going to go and create a new project and in any of my previous uh, projects you may have seen, I'm still going to start with my 3D core Given a sensible name, sensible place, um, ignore, I'm not bothering with that right now, and create a project. And while that's installing, uh, what we're going to do is make sure we've got the right packages ready. So I'm on the Unity Asset Store, and basically I'm going to go straight for the Meta XR all in one SDK. You should be able to press Add to My Assets, uh, and then you should be able to maybe add it to the Open Project. Okay, so now I've got the project open, I've just gone to the Windows uh, Package Manager. Scrolling down in, in my assets, and I should have got the Meta XR. There we go, ready to go. So I can just install that, give it a moment, then we should be ready to go. Okay, so that's finished installing. So I'm just going to press don't send. Um, um, yep, I shall restart the editor. Okay, so now we've restarted, we're back up and running. I'm going to go into our uh, build settings. I'm going to set this to Android. Now, I can still press play in the IDE, but I'm going to set it to Android, uh, switch platform, and then wait for this to sort of finish readjusting all the settings. Okay, so that's finished compiling all the scripts. So we're just going to go into our player settings um, and look at our XR plugin management. Uh, yep, I want to install the XR plugin. Uh, so this is obviously going to go onto Oculus uh, for Android. Let's give that a moment to catch up. Uh, also, it'd be wise to make sure that your Oculus Quest is set to developer mode. If you're not sure to that, go into your Oculus app on your phone, and you should be able to turn it on and off through the settings in there. Um, okay, so I've now got Oculus selected. I'm just going to flip back on Windows. Um, yeah, I can see Oculus there as well. So if I do want to press the play button, it should still launch through Oculus Link. It depends on how you're going about it for this moment. Okay, so I've got that set. I'm going to go on to my player. And I'm going to scroll down to... Uh, where is it going to? There we go. Looking through, yep, that's fine for now. Uh, what I'm looking for is the version of Oculus that it will expand to. I think that's the right bit. Give me a second. It was just hiding a menu from me, so I've just made sure I've gone back onto the Android icon, back onto Player, scroll down here, and it's just asking which version do I want. Um, no, it'll not work for anything this old, so I'm just going to jump it up to at least version Android 10. I think that should do. Um, I'm now going to come back into our Oculus menu, and it's saying we've got some problems here, so I'm just going to say fix. I'll fix that one, and it might find a few others in a moment. I have to keep on pressing fix. Uh, I'm just going to press apply all. I sometimes don't like pressing apply all because it sometimes causes it to hang. Uh, I've done this a couple of times on my other machine. Um, usually it's okay, but occasionally it does hang, so I just normally press one at a time. Okay, so that took a few minutes, but I didn't have to do anything other than press apply all. But it now should be almost ready to start going. So we've got the uh, we've installed Unity. We've obviously got the right project settings. We've done the XR plugin. We fixed the Oculus settings, so now we should be able to go into our actual scene. Um, so I've got the main camera, I'm just going to delete that so it doesn't cause any confusion all the while. I'm going to come down to our prefabs, just like in the previous videos. So if I come down to Core SDK, prefabs, uh, I'll just zoom that out so I can see the full titles. I can just drag our XR, sorry, our OVR camera rig onto my scene. And as always, yep, it's already zero coordinates, so that's good. Um, so I'm not going to bother putting any, anything else in there at the moment, as in like a floor or ground, because I don't want that. This is going to be for AR. Um, so there we go, I've got our AR setting. I'm just going to add a simple cube so we can see this in the scene in a moment. Well, hopefully we will. And there we go, so I'm just going to bring that up into the air a little bit. So that should be, yeah, we'll make that one up. So I hope that's... So when I stand up, it should be about my waist height. So I've got the camera rig, I've got the cube. Um, what I now need to do, yeah, I'll put some controls in there so we can see our hands. I'm going to expand tracking space, left, right, nothing fancy here. I'm just going to drag a controller 
prefab onto left, control the prefab onto right. So if you watch my previous videos, you'll have seen this sort of thing before. Over there, just say left touch. Over here, uh, right touch. So we should be able to see our controllers. Yep, we'll only see the one that I've chosen in that menu. So I've got our controllers now. Okay, so the next bit is we need to go and remove the skybox. So I'm going to click on center eye. Rather than skybox, I'm going to say solid color. Uh, I'm going to make that black. Um, so now what I'm going to do, because that basically the black is where we'll see our actual video footage coming from the Quest cameras. So now I want to add a new layer, which we're just going to call uh, pass through. Yep, that'll do. I'm going to add a component over here, which hopefully will be our OVR pass through layer. So that's and the script. So again, this has come from our SDK. Um, we're going to do now go back on our camera rig itself and hope I remember all these settings. So I'm going to come down, I'm just going to say, Yep, I want to target Quest 3 as well because that's what I'm going to be testing it on. I want to come down to pass through support. Um, I'm sure you'll have seen it faster than I do. So pass through support is just here. Um, yep, I want to say required because obviously this game requires it, otherwise, what's the point? Um, so I'm going to scroll down a little bit more uh, and I want to do the enable pass through. Okay, so that should be almost ready to go. Now, if I want to test this just from Unit itself by pressing the play button rather than exporting, I can go into my uh, Oculus settings. So I've got my devices. I'm just going to click on settings itself. Um, I'm going to click on beta. But I'm coming down here, developer runtime features. Obviously, I've turned on. Pass through over link. Yep, I'm turning that on. Eye tracking. Uh, I'm, I'm not there yet with these things. So I'm just going to leave that as is for the moment. I'm just going to try go back into my quest and make sure I've activated uh, Oculus Link mode. Okay, so the usual thing happened. Uh, now I'm on this desktop recording. As soon as I press play, the whole thing just hangs and freezes. I shut down OBS, still was struggling with it. So I've just gone straight for building the Android app itself. So if I just go on to File, Build Settings, um, obviously I can make sure it is an Android. I can go on Player Settings. Uh, I can change the default company to the actual to the name of what you want to do. I've got the product name, version number. You could mess about with some icons. Uh, that's up to you. But if I just press the close on this, um, I have pressed Add Open Scene, so that it's just sticking this sample scene. Obviously, I should really rename this and not use the default Unity scene. But I've added the open scene, and now I can press Build and Run. But before I do that, there is one thing I've forgotten to do. So I'm just going to shut down for a moment. I'm going to click on our pass through layer and where it says overlay and we'll change this to underlay. So this should allow that the background video is obviously going to go behind anything we see in the scene. So the black screen is a bit like doing a green screen. They'll put the video there and our object in front. So now I can click on build and run. Um, yep, I want to save changes and then this should launch quite happily. So here I am inside my quest. You can see my desktop screens, the tutorial I've just been recording. We can see we've got that cube. We can see as I move my head around, obviously the depth's a little bit out. So if I try and put my hand in front of it, we can see the, con the CGI controller is what we can see um, in front of the cube, but my hand's going behind the cube. And that's just something I've sort of deal with for now. Okay. So that should be enough for now. Remember, if you found any part of this video useful, please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, positive comment below. Any suggestions for future content, please let me know. Uh, but what I would recommend at this stage is maybe go and look at a couple of my other videos. Could you blend AR with some stuff that I showed you in the Unity VR tutorial with the skeletons coming at you? You know, I've got the other tutorials where we've got uh, like the whatever I'm looking for, the simple waypoint system. You can have things sort of moving around that you're firing at. Um, but go and have a play with this, start to embed your game. I'll be back in the next few days where I will show you how to embed a short gameplay function, but also how you can use the scene mesh so that you can have objects literally colliding off the real walls in your house. So again, please do like, do subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.